Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Alright, hello yodlers, we are the Matterhorn yodlers, I am your host today, j with... Jackie? With... I'm lost, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, you've lost your 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 parents are lost. I see. Yeah, my parents are lost. Oh no! Maybe we can find them in the right land. Yes. Yeah, so. Um. So that leads us to our our topic today. We're going to talk about Disney park lands and like if they were in a yearbook, like most likely to succeed. So we've got a series of questions that we're going to, um, ask, and we're going to curious like which lands within the parks, like Fantasyland or Adventureland, um, best fit this title. So. Yeah. First question is, which park is most likely to never change? Main Street. Main Street will always stay the same. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty safe bet. Main Street, there's not much change that could change there because it's specifically designed for a specific time period. So. And it's like Walt's like baby. It's, it's, it's themed after Walt's hometown. Yeah. It's a, would, it's a time. I would be uh, extremely upset if Bob Chapek's all like, "We're just gonna change. We're just gonna move Toontown to where Main Street is, and that's where oh we're gonna gosh. have Toontown." That would be horrible. What if they yeah. made it? Well, that's what they did at uh, uh, Shanghai. It's like Mickey's Town or whatever. Like it's not Main Street. Well, it makes sense for like sure. no, where I know. it is. Yeah, I get it. China doesn't care about Middle America. Middle America at the turn of the twentieth <laughs> century. <laughs> I don't care. Um. Yeah, I can see that. Well, do you see them doing what they did in Paris, where they have the the gallery? I think it would be cool if they did that. They could. I mean, they they they've been they using it space. more recently, especially Disney World. The spillover, yeah. like they do it during the big holiday, right? To to get the crowds out. I think it would be great if they extended Main Street, like more in theming the back for Main area. Street. I think Main Street's one of those lands that doesn't get enough love because it. Well, because it is the classic. It like... is the classic, um, but I just wish like it got a little bit more, a little more love, a little bit more love. Uh, I said Animal Kingdom is most likely never to change. It never true. changes. Like That's think of the twenty true. years, it hasn't changed. The only thing they've Other ever added is Pandora. Like yeah. that's the only land that they've added. Other than that. So you're calling the, the entire park? I'm like, I was like, I can't think of a, like a land that's changed. We're like, let's change this. Like, and the thing is, they need to change parts of that. <laughs> the I think they're so entrenched in their theming that they're like, how do we change a continent right. without changing the whole park? Right. Well, Not other... like Epcot. Like, oh, we're going to do all this like, like Epcot in the 80s. And it's like, it's not the same Epcot for right. sure. <laughs> so we've discussed prior to this. I think comical like a land that will never change is Tomorrowland. <laughs> guess, like the things we want to change. Yeah, the things we want to change. The Don't. Peter Pan effect. You yeah. know, like which which one yeah. needs to grow up? All right. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's struggling. Um, I also said Frontierland. Frontierland would be another. I was just thinking about that. That's Frontierland. True. So would period be pieces one. are probably the hardest ones to change. Except for like um, Liberty Square, I think you could change little you things. You can update Liberty Square. There's like little like stores where you can like oh like upgrade the theming yeah. of the stores and stuff. yeah. Like I feel the same way with New Orleans Square. Like same with Liberty. Like I feel like there's like little things you can change, but I think you guys are nailing it with Main Street. It's too classic. It's the first thing. It gets you pumped up as you go through. And like you if see I had it. to pick one that like you will never ever touch. Main Street. Main Street will be the one that like people will. That that would be the one people would like riot. Maybe maybe great <laughs> moments of Lincoln that that uh, as you're leaving and you see like you see like Tiger Woods and Lance Armstrong. <laughs> you're like and like you see like these people who have cheated. <laughs> it's like let's who hasn't cheated? Come on, <laughs> it's <true>. America. <laughs> I remember saying that like in high school, and this one girl's like, "I've never cheated." And it's like, "Well, you're boring." <laughs> I was. Oh. I look back and I was like, that was kind of harsh. That was mean. She was a goody good. No one likes her. No, everyone liked her. That's probably what it was. I was just jealous. Okay, next one. Which park is most likely to be bulldoze? Which land? Doze, baby, doze. 
I'll start it off. Dino Land yeah. and yeah, that's yeah. the okay, okay. In Animal Kingdom, that's the one place that will change because it has to change. That's actually the one. By the time this one comes up, we'll find out if, if, they, if they actually announce the Dino Land they, change or false not. Promises. False promises. That's all going to be false promises. They're going to bulldoze it and they're going to be like, oh, uh, coming soon, question <laughs> mark. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Animal Kingdom, it will be Dino Land. I think Hollywood Studios probably be like the animation courtyard. Yep. That's kind of dead. That whole section, yep. Epcot. There's not much. The future world. <laughs> it's currently being bulldozed. All the future <laughs> The cemetery. Right. It would be cool if you walked into Epcot and you were walking through the cemetery and they're playing like uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Right. That, would be kind of, that would make that part more interesting. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Magic Kingdom, it would be the uh, circus, Dumbo Circus area. Oh. You think so? Yeah. I they... liked it. I like the little peanuts and the no, theming they did. No, it's cute theming, but out I of all of the lands there. They would re-theme Frontierland. Really? I, I disagree, because Frontierland, I think, is going to change. In I see them changing... Kingdom. Tom Sawyer's Island. Oh, that's true. That that's always getting rethemed or moving around. I said right. Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland for Disneyland. Oh, Absolutely. hands down, like, yeah. There's, there's not another land though. That's... That or Toontown, but honestly, I I I'm not necessarily opposed to the idea of retheming Frontierland. I think all of us want there's... more from it, but we don't there's, get it. There's not anything there. There's not there. much there other there's, than there's Thunder. Big Thunder Mountain. And then they included the river boat. You get chimichangas there. That's where I. That's one of my favorite. Apparently, places. they have got like really good breakfast chimichangas there. Ooh, brekkie chungas. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as California Adventure, that um, whole like the back, back lot, lot where monsters is. Yeah, yeah. that can just go. Yep. <laughs> get rid of it. Yep. All right, let's change Most, gears. A lot of people would say Avengers Campus, too. A lot of people would want to get rid of that right now. I just think There's a lot of hate need for more that land for right it. Now. Are, are they like, bring back Bugs Land? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a really good theme. Like, I, I like walking through it. Never once wrote any of those rides. It was all too kitty. But, like, the problem with Avenger Campus, it's a little too cosplay because you just got all, like, the, the superheroes walking around and, like, Jumping I, over boxes and park park. I actually think parkour. that's the coolest part of the land is that the the heroes are living the land. Like you, you don't really. I just thought the the I know, I know, I know, that's that's like, they're doing. like stealing tomatoes and falling <laughs> in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just you said the wrong word. I know I did. I realized it as soon as I said it. I'm all like, oh, I'm gonna get called for it. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I like. Tomato. Those are really great tomatoes. <laughs> Another. <laughs> That's how you make living with the land good. You put <laughs> four. There. Another. Another Sasquatch. <laughs> Here's my Asgardian coins. Take them, please. <laughs> That's like one billion of your money. Oh. Bob Chapek's like, oh really? I'll take some of that. <laughs> But no, I mean, yeah. So, but I think out of all of them, Dino Land is the easy pick. Um, oh yeah. For a demolished everything. Well, Which one's most likely to hit right by an asteroid? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's most? Tomorrowland. No, no <laughs> Dino Land. Yeah. Dino Land yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Most beautiful park. Be- beautiful land. Yeah, beautiful land. Yeah, beautiful. Land. Sorry. Adventureland, Ma- Ad- Magic Kingdom's Adventureland. You nailed it. That's on mine. Did you look? Yeah. Or did nope, you I'm not looking. This is all at the top. Yeah, of my I head. think it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Even though I've worked there and I've heard all the music, I think it's the most beautiful I one. Think... Well, even with the the music, I think the music's fun and great. It gets you in the in the the field. The only the only sour point is Magic Carpets of Aladdin. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> I think for Epcot, we'll it is sh- an eyesore of the whole. Of, yeah. It's so well right. themed that Magic Carpets of the Land, and it's just, just like, whoa, there's this like <laughs> toy in the middle of the land, right. and, it, or, and it's just a little weird. Right. Yeah. I think Epcot, obviously, World Showcase, but in World Showcase, I would say. Which country? Canada. Canada. Canada is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. They did a great job with the landscape, the, the waterfall. The rock waterfalls, yeah. 
even even the UK, like that the back UK's area. Really good. Like, I'm gonna throw it out here, Morocco. I okay. think that you go into some of the hidden doors. They have some of the like Moroccan style um, inlays, mm-hmm. and it's jeweled and it's beautiful in their museum area. You're not talking about the phallic door, are you? No, I don't. They got rid no of idea. That. They did. They got rid of it. <laughs> As soon as Morocco pulled out of sponsoring the pavilion, they 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 got rid of that. Yeah, I had no idea what you're talking about. Now okay. I feel like I gotta watch like yeah. Little Mermaid and then watch like it's, watch it's, Look it's, for Doors. It's pretty blatantly obvious, and people pose in front of it. It's a thing. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a thing. It's not too appropriate here, but that's yeah. why I didn't use the I I use the the scientific term here. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jack. What do you think is beautiful? It, it was just the. It was the Canadian. Uh, yeah, pavilion. Canada. Yeah. Okay. Pavilion. Where are we? Hollywood Studios. Um, there's not much beauty there. Um, uh, Sunset Boulevard, maybe. I like Sunset Boulevard. I think it's well themed. I think, but I, I wouldn't call it beautiful. It's themed. It's themed great, yeah. beautifully well. Like. It's themed very well. I it's like immersive, very, yeah. very immersive. It. But in terms of like beauty, I guess maybe Star Wars Land, because that's gonna be my pick for. That's good. Land. I mean, it is a very beautiful, immersive land. Yeah. Like it's. That's it's one great. of the questions that we have here. So you guys jumped ahead a little already. Oh. So while we're here in the immersive lands, so we have Star Wars Land. Right. Yeah. I say Cars Land. Cars oh, Land is for sure. like you walk in and you're like I'm. In yeah, Radiator Springs, in, yeah, I think you, they you, nailed that one. I think that's a beautiful. Well, that that land. was the selling point for um, James Cameron to give the the okay to build uh, Avatar. So they can do it right. Yeah, because like they, they were like, and over here we have Frontierland, and like, what's that over there? No, don't no, just keep walking. It's Tomorrowland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like uh, I think it was um, John Lasseter took him to Cars Land and says, "We we can do this for." the world of avatar and he's all like i believe it like if you can do stuff like this sure and so that's how we got the the world of avatar in animal kingdom you've seen it in person is it pretty beautiful it is amazing yeah. like because you know if you've seen the movie they've got the alleluia rocks yeah the alleluia mountains or whatever they call it in the movie where they're, they're floating rocks and they do a good job of hiding the support beams holding it up and i just remember like riding the bus to work when i worked at animal kingdom watch and see them building it and you just see them building it and just kind of like little trees steel trees right and then a, these giant rocks on top of rock it at yeah. The end. yeah they may they, they 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 hide the support beams very well making them look like vines or whatnot how cool so, yeah like it is it is pretty impressive is it cars land no it's not cars land um but at night, it is a very cool park. I mean, with everything glowing. Like, I would say, I mean, one of the coolest parks lands at night. That one would be towards the top. I don't know. I like I like Christmas-themed Cars Land. I think, it's, I think Cars Land is just, it's just so good. Solid. But I've never seen right. Pandora. Yeah, That's one Pandora. thing. It's like, I've um, never seen Star Wars Land, and I haven't seen Pandora yet. All right, so uh, which land is the most fun? Mm. It was a tough one for me. I played something different. I did Pixar Pier. I was actually thinking the same thing. Pixar Pier is fun. Pixar Pier is good. I would even say Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You have two, and I was like, which one? Two big attractions. You have Fantasmic. You got Beauty and the Beast show. Like you've got a lot to go there. That's solid entertainment. That's fun, yeah. Like, there's not too much. Like, they've got the Lightning McQueen's show that they have be- hiding behind Rock and Roller Coaster now. Uh, that's just just don't keep walking. Just just forget that exists. But everything else in that land is It's like, a trap. It is. It's <laughs> trap. Maybe Fantasyland because you got so many attractions there. Yeah. And it's, like, fun, I think, for little kids. Yeah. I- for, from, from a child's perspective, obviously Fantasyland will be... The winner. The winner for young children. Absolutely. Yeah, because that was one of the that was the next question is which be, which land is best for kids? It's fantasy. Fantasy. Oh, land. I can't think of another land that children would be like. That my, it's been, Toy like Story my kids. Land. 
Nah, no. no, no, I wouldn't say that. Like, we didn't spend too much time when we went. We didn't spend. We rode. Did they still have the Honey I Shrunk the Kids play area? No. No, oh, that's gone. That got a uh, Toy that's... Story. That Toy... was there when we were there last. Toy Story took that one out. Okay. That was all like, it's still here. It's a lot smaller. I thought yeah, it was they, bigger. I think it was. they closed it, <laughs> it was when bigger. I was there. They yeah, shut when they were down. getting ready to, to expand the park. Yeah, all of that back lot area got taken yeah. over by Pixar. Star Wars Land didn't take too much of the park itself. It took they like expanded. the show. The, like, oh, the, the Hunchback the, Show. Or no, the, that, not the, the Hunchback Show, like the car show. Yes, they. I oh, believe they the, took the the lights, motors, action. Yeah, but like, but there was gone. another stage show over the, in that area that yeah. got dem- demolished, where the Hunchback of Notre Dame show was. But uh, yeah, that got taken over there. But yeah, I can't think of another children's land that I would say kids would love. Toontown. No, I'm still disappointed. Like no. Toontown, when we went as kids, sure. when it first opened. Awesome. That was where I wanted the bouncy house at Goofy's, the oh. ball pit at Chippendales, like Donald Duck's place was bumping. There were so many kids climbing all over the place. Right. I mean, that was and then, like everything wiggled and made noises. I'm curious to see what they'll the do with the new Toontown at Disneyland. How I'll much change or Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be a hit. Yeah. Like that will be a huge. It'll pull people back it'll over there. It'll pull people back over there for sure. Um, hopefully, you know, giving people a chance to ride Rise of the Resistance, because right now that's the thing that's drawing everybody's it's, it's attention. The big one. It's going down though. I've been looking at wait times because I'm going on an upcoming trip, and it's been staying at that like hour mark. Yes. This is a pro tip: if you're a true Disney fan going to Disneyland, you watch the wait lines on your free time yes. before you, you go on your trip. <laughs> It's to know when to go at certain to times game of the it, days. you're like, oh, gotta game my game, and you know, like you're doing like Intel, like <laughs> recon true. before a trip. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, as Jackie mentioned it, as I like, oh, Father Yodler does this. Yep, I do it. And, Peter, and I'm the only one's like, nah, I'm good. I'll wing it from what I know from 15 years ago. <laughs> right, <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is different. Yeah, it is. It changed two you two months ago. I wasn't I, ready for this change. It's true. Once I know I'm going to Disneyland, I'll download the app. And, and they can track my data. And then I'll, I'll like, watch it casually, and then... I still look at the Disney World one. I was like, oh, what's going on at Disney World right now? Oh, it's only an hour wait. It's at uh, Seven Dwarfs right now. Oh, man. Oh, love that ride. All right, so which uh, which park has, or which land has the best character interaction? Where would you go? I would go Avengers Campus. Avengers Campus? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, so in Disneyland... It's, like, the part in front of, like, Small World leading up to, like, the Matterhorn. Okay, that, that cavalcade area. That, yeah. That, walk, that... You, that long walkway. Yeah. You get some really good character interactions there. Hmm. When they're there. Yeah. That's true. I said the animation studio, Hollywood Studios. Oh, yeah, because they have, like, Dog McStuffin and stuff. They've got some fun ones there. Um, all right, where's the best place for music? The best place? Main Street. That's where I said, too. Main Street's big. Man, it's one of those Get things. your pumps. Music's yeah. a hard one for me because, like, I like music a lot, and so it's, like, depending on, like, my mood, I really like New Orleans music. Yeah. That's know? true. The jazz. That brings That's you in. The jazz music with the whole atmosphere, like, I really feel that. Honestly, with Main Street, and this might be an unpopular opinion, but when they added the music from up to it, I stopped caring for the music. And that's all I hear now is up music every time I go down. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all I feel like I hear when I, I walk down Main Street. So. It's a good it's, song. It's, but it's like, a good feel. Like, it makes, it adds for the atmosphere of like, oh, this but is But it takes me out good. of what I've always thought of as the Main Street music. And so... It's always kind of taken me out. I want to go sing in Music Man and, you know. Hello and Hello Dolly. Dolly. Hello Dolly, yes. Poor Father Yoder, he came to the park. He was like, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a play. Uh, uh, what was it? The Hello, Hello, Dolly. Hello Dolly. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Um, I did put, like, Fantasyland with, by Dumbo. You got the carousel. You got the, ca- the... the carousel, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Where is the best 
what is the quietest land? Okay, so it's for me Galaxy Edge at night. Oh yes, totally. It's a ghost town. Really? Yes. It's when um, mm-hmm. Rise of the Resistance closes because it closes two hours before the park closes. It usually closes at night. It closes at nine o'clock every day, wow. no matter what. Even yeah. if the park's open till midnight, it closes at nine o'clock. And so, um, lame. It's, and there's not really there's no like characters walking around. And so it's a ghost town. Usually people just are walking around with lightsabers, taking photos in front of the Falcon. Yeah. I can see that. So, oh, like, I... if, if you want to see people with lightsabers, you go to Galaxy's Edge at night. That's when you see all the lightsabers come out for photos and things like that. They're because, like light bugs, but they're but right. for Star Wars fans. Because, I mean, because that's the best time to use it. And when do you want to take pictures with your lightsaber? When it's on. And obviously it looks good at night. So, like. That's when you see, like, the really cool Star Wars fans. And it's fun walking at night, like, over by Rise of the Resistance because, like, outside they have, like, these, like, fence or, like, force fields kind of walkways where, like, you hear creatures in the bushes. And I don't know, I like the setting. It's calming. I kind of think Frontierland at Magic Kingdom is a little quiet. I did the same thing. Frontier, Magic Kingdom. You nailed it. Uh, Future World West can be a little quiet too. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, where the land imagination and the the seas with Nemo. Yep. Yeah. Um, except for the mine, mine. Yeah. Mine, mine, yeah. mine. Um, I'm gonna throw out the Echo Lake at Hollywood Studios at night. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because there, there's no attractions. There's no attractions there. going on there, so it's really quiet at night. Yeah. Very true. Um. What about California Adventure? Where is it quiet? I'd oh, say the, the, the Grizzly, War. the Grizzly Walk oh, area. Right. That's the quiet area. Like, I would also say Pacific Wharf can get really quiet during like off meal periods. It's tough with the nah. meals. There's too much traffic there. Nah, You'd have to go in the corner, like as you're coming in. Right. The the area like at the start. Where they just give you like front. chocolate and, and yeah. tortillas. Yeah. I miss the tortillas. Yeah, That's everybody cool. misses the free tortillas. Um, okay, where's the best place where you can get away with a Zoom call for work? <laughs> where can you work? Like, it, it can be any location. It doesn't have to be a specific yeah. land. Like, where would you go? Like, for me, I would go to Pecosville Restaurant. <laughs> it's, like, always empty, and there's sure. always a room that's blocked off. And I used to study back there. Oh, really? It's true. When I was, uh, yeah, when I was working there, going to school. Yeah, they've got the one side of the restaurant. This is at Magic that, Kingdom. The so. only open for like busy times. Yeah, and that's nice. Honestly, yeah. you can pick like the America Pavilion and oh, Epcot. That would be a good. Oh, place. that would be great. Mm-hmm. That would be a like perfect it's a beautiful place. building. It's usually empty. Like you, you hit it like right after the show starts, and there's no one in that building. You can do a Zoom. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. the voices of liberty come out, and you're like, "Who's that?" And you're God like, "God bless America." Sorry, my wife's singing in the shower again. There are men singing in there. I don't judge your lifestyle. All right. So in Disneyland, in Tomorrowland, and the um, the big circle building. It's now uh, the What's an Star Wars land oh. launching launch, launch bay. Star Wars launch bay. That's my favorite place to chill in the AC because no one really goes in it anymore. Well, it's closed now, but... Yeah. Uh... And that's why Jackie likes to break in there to her <laughs> Zoom calls. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go on to best land for food. What do well, you guys got? I mean, if we're doing... I mean, the the cheap cop-out answer would be World Showcase. Exactly. That's but if, cheap... if you're going to go somewhere specific in World Showcase, where would you get your food? I don't know. Like, well, showcase is kind of like the the food court at the mall. It you is just the kind food of court. Pick whatever you're in the mood for. Yeah. That's what Walt was doing. Was like, what do you want? It's like, I want Chinese. Or no, I want right. I, I want a German food. Let's just like have a food court with all these countries. Right. <laughs> do it. Let's put it in our. Yeah, this is awesome. Right. And so, so if I had to pick a different land, um, hmm, that's I know. Tough. I don't know any good place in Magic Kingdom. Um. 
or Hollywood Studios other than like what get a Ronto rack. I like no, I like the, Liberty Square. If I want like a yeah, good like the the Liberty Square, the Liberty area. Tree, oh, they've got a couple good restaurants there. And then like there. uh kebabs or or the Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. That's yeah. a, a those solid are, like those are quick some service. Solid good restaurants. And then you got right the there. Chowder House, like uh, yeah. the Columbia Harbor House. That's what Columbia Harbor House. Yeah, where you get your uh, you get your chowder. So. Yeah, I think Liberty Square is a really good one for food. That's true. Ooh. It doesn't sell the generic burger no. garbage. Right. And, like, you're going to, like, they got decent, like, benches out there, too. It's where you can eat. And they've got, you can get plates for fruit. They have, like, the marketplace. Yes. Which, as I mentioned yeah. in our review, apparently at Disney World, there's only one place in all of Disney World where you can get fresh fruit. They don't believe in fruit and just not not even the farmers market section of Sunset Boulevard. They don't sell fruit there. I was but just you want some so apple ice cream, I know, <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, I was just so baffled. This my wife was like, "I need some, I need some fruit. Go find me like a pickle or something like that." I was like, "All right, oh yeah, there's a fruit stand." Like we just were right taking turns on rock and roller coaster, and I was like, "I'll, I'll go find some," and I'm like. What the heck? It's not a fruit stand anymore. What the heck is wrong? What is wrong with this place? Yeah. It's like that gif where the guy's watching cake and it's everywhere. Right. <laughs> and he's like and he's like, Is this is my pillow cake? And now if it's the opposite <laughs> for you, we're like, Where's the fruit? It it's is. supposed to be here. It is. It was I was just like, You gotta be kidding me. Where's your favorite place to eat at Disneyland? Which land? Mm. I'd say New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans would be where the good food is. The good is. food. Um, it depends on what I want. Like, if I want. Yeah, if you want beignets. something. If it's cold, like, yes. that, like we used to go in, in the wintertime. Yeah. The holidays. And for us, or where you live, uh, going to LA is nice and cool. <laughs> and so you're like, ooh, got my sweatshirt on. Let's get some, let's get some bread bowls and some soup. I'm also a fan of Frontierland. I mean, you've yeah. got yep. the Zoco. That's a good place. Zocolo de something, whatever it's called, the Mexican Great restaurant. Food. You got uh, chimichangas. You got chimichangas. <laughs> Some you churros. Can get, you got your churros Mickey and pretzel. popcorns and pretzels. You get root beer floats. It's the only place where that you can actually get like a cup of root beer. Is that at the Horseshoe? Yep. You can get root beer or root beer float. That was so, fun. Yeah, my wife she likes to go and get the the fish at the at the stage door. Right there. She she is she fishing it in the she, rivers of America and she just carries that <laughs> stinky fish around. That's it. For those that don't know or didn't listen, that that used to be a thing where yes. you could fish at Disneyland and carry that stinky fish around. <laughs> yep. I think California Adventure has some really good food well, options. I mean, they've got their food court land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the Pacific the, Wharf. The Pacific, the Pacific Wharf, Wharf is good, but also Carthay Circle is pretty good food. Yeah, the the restaurant's good, and but the, in terms of and the Paradise Garden Park has like that little food court they have against the that's good too. So, if, I think California Adventure, the only thing that's good, well, that's why they always been have the, the food. They have the food and wine stuff over there. So, well, you, there's no room at Disneyland to do well, anything. Great. Yeah. Great, yeah. <laughs> They'd have to make it into like floating food and wine. <laughs> <laughs> they would convert the backstage area as food and wine and just be like a drive through almost. Pretty much. Yeah, they're not doing anything with the Interventions building. For real. <laughs> All right. Which land has the best merchandise shops? Um, My favorite gift shop at Disneyland is the Frontierland gift shop. What do you what do you look for when you go into that gift shop? I don't know. I've always liked it as a kid. They used to have a good like home section, like kitchen stuff. It's changed now, but I also like their apparel there. Okay. And it connects with the Adventureland one, so yeah. you can kind of like it's like a two in one yeah. situation. It's just it's bigger. It's usually not as crowded as like Main Street. Right. Like the Emporium. I've always enjoyed walking around the shops in New Orleans Square for Disney. Bingo, yeah. nailed Those are it. Good. I just feel like they're now, small. They're lately, small. They've been closed, but that could be because of COVID. 
Not to let us know if they've opened them back yeah, up. Yeah, they're open. I'm going to say France Pavilion. I cannot get enough of that perfume room. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, London. Or, the uh, the toy shop there or the bookstore? All of, They have a lot of gift shops in That's that. That's all that pavilion is. There, there's nothing, there's nothing else. They've got, a, they've got like a restaurant and then. They have a live band that does play out there. It's That's like fun. my go-to. I have to do it. Anytime I go to Epcot, I have to look at all the gift shops there in London. I'm like that with the German pavilion. I like looking at the cuckoo The German clocks. one's fun. They got their their beer steins and they got their cuckoo clocks. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. And I think the best one is probably the Japanese because it's not Disney. It's not Disney. Disney. It's not Disney merchandise. It's you can get. You got really cool like tea sets and. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 the fun one. And they were smart for going. Nope. This one's ours. You guys. It's one of the few pavilions that's still sponsored by the actual country so which ones are no longer i'm trying to remember which ones are no or which longer. ones are actually yeah i mean i know japan japan may be the only one left i'm trying to think here uh china probably is Mexico? i imagine china is still probably sponsored by well by how, the how else are they going to right. bring in their um emissaries right ambassadors right. uh of of goodwill to right. our nation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's probably still sponsored by the country, but I think the others are probably not. Not Mexico? Mexico? No. Okay. Mexico ain't sponsoring no pavilions. <laughs> All right, uh, let's finish this off. We're going to go, Which be- what's the best land for villains to reside? Like, if we could put villains to hang out, where would be a great place to see them? I would pick... Uh, uh, Sunset Boulevard. That's a fun one. I would say the animation courtyard at Hollywood Studios. You could totally just throw them out there. Put villains in there. Heck, you can put villains in World Showcase. Put them all villains in different countries around the yeah, world. Yeah, they got princesses like in every. Why not? Why not throw, throw a villain? A villain? It's true. We do do Santa Claus already in each one. Yeah, that's a fun time of the year to go to there. Um, I said New Orleans Squares. Yeah, they got like little yeah. corners. Pirates, and stuff. I don't mansion. think it would be really good for like people. Like it would clog right. things up. Yeah, but it would be fun. Well, they got like... rid of a ton of those planters blocking the way in their stairs. They got rid of a lot of that. I think it would just be cool to see villains like walking around in the close quarters of that. Okay, so do you guys have any other kind of like your book, Lance? You guys have any questions? Let's go with. Let's see if I can come up with one right here on the spot. Um, well, what's what what land has the best attractions? We haven't had that discussion. I'm gonna go. I think if you only have one day to go ride rides, and you can only go to one land, what land are you going to? That's hard. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would probably do Hollywood um, Studios. Uh, Santa Monica, because you just have Tower Terror and the Sunset Rock and Roll. Boulevard. Yeah, Sunset Boulevard. I, it's got the Rock and Roll Coaster, not Rock and Roll. The yeah, um, yeah is it what it is. Yeah, Rock is not a horn fantasy land now. Yes. So I would say fantasy land. Well, if you want the magical experience. Yeah, that I would. I feel like if I could only go to one land at one Disney park, where would I feel the most like Disney magic? Fantasy land. That's true. I could see that. I'd pick New Orleans Square. You know, New Orleans Square is in my mind too. Mm-hmm. I that's you get the smells pick, of pirates. If I had to pick a favorite land, that's my favorite land. Yeah, I, I think just, it's good. There's there's a magic there. That's that's when I know I'm at a Disney park. I try to get that feeling at Frontierland at Magic Kingdom. No, did not get that there. Not the same feeling. It'd have to be more immersive. You'd have to have like that stagecoach feeling and stuff right. like that. But it's there's no magic there. No. It's like walking around not, like Knott's Berry Farm. Well, and it's like, like the music's not very isn't as good as like new, the New Orleans music is. Oh, there's know? more energy when it comes to that. Right. I can see that. You got any questions? You're all wrapped up. All right, I think that'll wrap everything up. Nice, like, fun getting the like thoughts on the different lands and different kind of qualities 
originally we're gonna do like we were all kind of like texting today like which lands are we doing how, we, how big are, <laughs> are we, we only doing, doing disneyland are we only doing disney world are we doing parks and right. like it was like so we we were fluctuating with this, but it was kind of fun like mm-hmm. getting our thoughts and we're 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 similar and stuff, but we're like wow that that came out of nowhere. All right, right. <laughs> uh, so ask ask a, a Disney fan, you know, what's their most fun like land they like to go to, or what's the most beautiful one, or where's their quiet place they like to relax. Um, the dock, the the old boat dock at Disney. The old boat oh, dock. Yeah. I could see that. Mm-hmm. It's a good place to like if you need to eat a lunch quiet place outside yeah get away from the crowds mm-hmm. always that's what everyone's trying to do yep all right uh so this concludes our podcast um uh, please follow us on our our social medias uh hit us up with any questions um matterhorn yodlers at gmail.com and yeah like our facebook instagram got our twitter um and you can send a voicemail through anchor it'd be creepy it'd be like hey i like your podcast <laughs> <laughs> and uh we'll be sure to mention it we got a little shout out to creepy voice guy he likes our podcast thanks <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna become a segment. All right, we've got creepy voice number one on the line. Let's see if we can post you on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> With that being said, have a magical day. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to say Avita Zine. I'm sorry, Avita Zine. <laughs> Just stealing my catchphrase. I did. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember, before your bobsled comes to a complete stop, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor.